Welcome back. We want to do a quick check on our weather, on your weather forecast for you for this 4th of July long holiday. We have Dave Sparr with more. Hey, Dave. Hey, good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, everybody. And boy, it's an aggressive fog layer we got this morning. Good news is no delays happening at SFO. I just checked, and that on that front should be good for those coming and going for the holiday weekend, it looks like. Meanwhile, the East Bay shoreline is still covered in the fog, as you will notice here, even up to the shrubbery, up to where the camera is. Headed to Tahoe, by the way, in that direction. Well, a bit cool for the summer, but at least it looks like it's rain free. Got a lot of cloud cover tomorrow here. 66, 68, Monday, Tuesday, 73. Gradual warming trend here, but kind of spring like, kind of just a, a bit of a fog going on here. Winds right now on shores, you will notice, into the teens and even some 20s off to the Far East Bay. So somewhat active, bringing in this marine layer. We're getting kind of almost a, a coastal breeze everywhere that places that don't normally feel it are feeling some of that. Temperatures uniformly are in the mid 50s. Not a surprise when you have this influence from the Pacific. Climate control, we call it. So numbers are all pretty much mid 50s, just about. Want to send you to the active tropics. This is the U.S. Southeast and out to sea here. This is Colin. Tropical storm just barely holding on. We're not getting much action to the west at all. The center is kind of projected to be over land, but it's expected to move to the northeast and then back out to sea. So it's just grazing the southeast coast, not to be expected to become too intense before it does so. Now to the uh, Central America, we have Bonnie, who came in via the Atlantic system, will now exit into the Pacific. Now it too will act parallel to Central America and even Mexico a bit, become a hurricane later on, and be to a new name, by the way. I'm not sure what that name is just yet, but uh, it's heavy rains it's carrying with it through Central America right now. As mounts almost up to about a foot of rain, max winds at about 40 or so, going to re-intensify back to what well, is a tropical storm, but become a hurricane later on. We'll continue to watch that. Up north in the Pacific, what we have is this pesky low out to sea here, continuing to provide that marine layer, the morning fog, some of the coastal drizzle, or even bay-wide drizzle going on. Gradually, temperatures will climb through the remainder of the week or latter portion of the week and into next weekend. Look at your four zone forecast for your Saturday, 63 San Francisco. Should see the sun come out by at least the afternoon. 58 Pacifica, 61 meanwhile for Daly City. 66 Burning Game to the south. Foster City, 69 along with Palo Alto. Mountain View, 68. 72 for San Jose. Cupertino, about 71. East Bay Shoreline to the south, mid 60s. Even Tri Valley, 71 for Livermore. Pleasanton, 69. Dublin, 68. 72 Walnut Creek. These again are highs for July, not bad. 73 for Concord, 63 for uh, Berkeley. Vallejo at a cool 62, 77 Fairfield. Napa at 74. 80 Santa Rosa kind of stands out there a little bit with coastal numbers back to the business of the 50s and lower 60s. 70 forecast. Gradual increase in temperatures to the 80s we get to by Monday. And it looks like uh, getting up to about 90 or so come Friday. Looking good for July 4th. Unfortunately for the fireworks Monday night, might have some of that fog rolling in early there, Stephanie. Thanks very much, Dave.